Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush back at it with another video. I want to highlight some really great PC game deals that are available right now. Square Enix is running some awesome game deals over on Steam, and there are some other pretty good deals available right now. And there's also a free DRM free game available on Indie Gala that I wanted to highlight. It's a 99 cent game, but hey, it's available for free, so why not mention that as well? It is a little interesting when talking about game deals. I just want to get on this tangent before I go to the specific deals, but the era that we're marching into now with all of these game subscription services it's a little bit more difficult to assess specific deals because a lot of these games do appear on specific subscription services whether it be they appeared in humble monthly in the past whether they be a part of game pass you play service in the future and I think that's going to be a rather interesting aspect to monitor heading into the future of buying PC games because of all of these subscription services. So I try to take that into account as well. And the games I'll be mentioning, a lot of them don't appear on the subscription services because I think if you have interest in those games, why buy them standalone when you can just subscribe to the subscription services? I know for some of you guys, you would just rather own the game directly on Steam or whatever the case may be. And I will mention deals like that from time to time if the deals are good enough, but always do be mindful of that and do check services like Game Pass, Origin Access, and see if the game you want is available in those subscription services, because then it might just pay dividends to just sign up for those subscription services or whatever the case may be. So with that out of the way, let's get started with the free game available on Indie Gala, and that is The Deed. Again, a 99 cent game that is available on Steam. However, this is a DRM free copy. This game was received incredibly well over on Steam based on 1,359 user reviews, 91% positive. It's an RPG maker RPG, a keenly dark twist on the traditional murder Murder mystery setting the deed is an adventure RPG about getting away with murder Aaron Bruce the rifle heir to the house returns home to settle a score with his estranged family it was noted that it's an incredibly short game I mean at 99 cents you can't really expect anything more than that but it's also noted to be pretty replayable so I'll leave a link to that in the description box below whenever Indie Gala offers these quirky little games for free I like to bring that to your guys attention because why not it's a free game and you might as well get it all right moving on from that I definitely want to highlight some of these great deals that are available on Steam and other platforms and let's get started with the deals directly available on Steam. Rise of the Tomb Raider is the cheapest I believe I've ever seen it be. It's 85% off for $9, and that is for the 20-year celebration edition. That includes a lot of additional content upon the base game. I believe the 20-year celebration edition is the only edition you can get now. And it includes the Season Pass content, which is kind of funny considering the Season Pass standalone is being sold for $7.49. So if you own the base ROTR game, you're kind of screwed on that end. But nonetheless, I thought Rise of the Tomb Raider was the best game in the entire Tomb Raider franchise based on playing the reboots, based on the games from 2013 and onwards. But all of those games are honestly better than the existing Tomb Raider games. But Rise of the Tomb Raider, I think, is honestly a step above Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I thought Shadow of the Tomb Raider was a pretty good game. Unfortunately, the story was just so nonsensical. And I know that people generally aren't going into Tomb Raider for compelling narratives or whatever the case may be. However, in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it was such a dumb story that it honestly detracted from the experience a little bit. But Rise of the Tomb Raider has great gameplay. It has a pretty decent story. Visuals still hold up to this day. And for $9, I think it's a great buy. So definitely give that a look if you've yet to play it. One of my favorite more recent games is Frostpunk. And that is 50% off for $15. This released back in April of 2018. And it was done by 11-Bit Studios, the same guys that brought you this war of mine. And this game did have a relatively mixed reception at launch based on the fact that it didn't have a lot of content. However, that issue has really been remedied as they've updated the game and continue to add a sizable amount of content. And now the experience that you're buying has a lot more to delve into. So for $15, I think it's a great buy. And it's a very, very dark game. If you guys played this War of Mine, you know their kind of presentation style. 11-Bit Studios. 11-Bit Studios is kind of known for these more dark games and they're working on another game as well in Children of Morta. That looks pretty cool. That's a story-driven action. Action RPG, so a little bit different, but they're becoming one of the more talented studios in all of gaming based on this War of Mine and now based on Frostpunk. They're putting out some quality products, and if you've yet to check out Frostpunk, $15 is still kind of an expensive price point, and I could very well see this game being a part of Humble Monthly or being added to Game Pass in the future. But nonetheless, for now, the only way to get it is buying it directly off Steam, and $15 for it I think is a pretty good buy. Here's a game that was available in Humble Monthly a few months ago, but Yakuza 0 is 50% off for $9.99, which is a great deal for. Yakuza 0. It is just a little bit of a bummer given that it wasn't monthly. So for $2 more, you got this and a bunch of other stuff. But if you've yet to play the Yakuza games, Yakuza 0 is a great starting point. As the title of the game would suggest, it's a prequel to the very first Yakuza game. So again, that makes it a great entry point. And Yakuza itself is a great franchise that was for a long time exclusive to PlayStation, but now it seems to be making its way over to PC. We've got Yakuza 0, Yakuza Kiwami 1, and Kiwami 2. 
Hopefully we get Yakuza 6 at some point as well in all of the other games, but Yakuza 0 is an excellent game. A ton of content in this one. If you want to do everything, you're going to be investing, you know, 60, 70, 80 hours in the game. And yes, it doesn't have English voiceovers, which is a little bit of a bummer to those of you that really aren't okay with just playing with subtitles. But nonetheless, I find it to be an incredibly compelling game. The story is excellent in all of these games, and of course, the PlayStation 4 just had the release of Judgment. That's a game done by the same studio. Hopefully at some point that makes the transition over to PC as well, but for now... Yakuza 0 for $9.99 is a great buy. Also, another game from Sega, Valkyria Chronicles 4 is 66% off for $20.39. Valkyria Chronicles 4, no hyperbole, was one of my favorite games of 2018. I thought it was an excellent Japanese RPG. And I loved Valkyria Chronicles 1, and Valkyria Chronicles 4, for the most part, retains all of the fundamentals. The gameplay is largely similar. They do add some things. There's a new class in the game, and they do add an easy difficulty, so that's great, because Valkyria Chronicles 1 was a rather challenging game, so if you're the kind of person that just wants to go in and experience a great story, you can do that with VC4 now if you do want to play the game through its easy difficulty. It still offers a little bit of challenge here and there, but for the most part, even if you're not too well-versed into strategy RPGs, you're going to have a good time with Valkyria Chronicles 4, and the story, again, is really good. And there's a lot of content to this game as well. So much side content, even though it's not like you're going to explore this big world. There is no world to explore. The game is told through a storybook, which is a very unique way to present a game. But Valkyria Chronicles really does it in a great way. And that watercolor art style, it can't say enough good things about Valkyria Chronicles. And Valkyria Chronicles is a great entry point for newcomers to Japanese RPGs. It doesn't really have all of those Japanese tropes or anything like that. And it's just a very compelling war story. And you can also jump directly into Valkyria Chronicles with VC4, given that it does run parallel to Valkyria Chronicles 1. So $20 for that game, I think, is a great buy. If you want to get into Japanese RPGs or you just want a quality game with a quality story, Valkyria Chronicles 4 is definitely going to offer that. All right, moving on from that, Just Cause 3 is 85% off to get this, just 3 bucks. Okay, so I wasn't the biggest fan of Just Cause 3. If you go back to my videos that I uploaded back in 2015 when this game came, Came out. I had some bad things to say about the game, but that was primarily on the fact that this game was a train wreck of a PC port at the time. It didn't run very well, and I believe I was playing the game with a GTX 970 at the time, and that GPU should have been able to run this game pretty well at 1080p, and it just didn't. However, now in 2019, the game does run considerably better, and given that you're not paying a full $60, rather you're paying just 3 bucks, I think it's a pretty good open world game to get into. Now, you guys may have heard me talk about Just Cause 4 in the past. Just Cause 4 is a big step backwards from Just Cause 3. It is just not a very good game. It is on sale. It's $24, but I don't think it's worth it. You're literally paying an eighth of the cost for Just Cause 3 opposed to Just Cause 4, and I would say Just Cause 3 is the better game. So yeah, this is absolutely the route to go. They probably have Just Cause 2 on sale as well. I imagine that it's $1.50 or $2. They also do have Just Cause 2 on sale for $1.50, so if you sell some Steam trading cards, you can get that as well. Just Cause 2 is also a very good game. At this point, it will show its age a little bit, given that it released all the way back in like 2010 or 2011. A little bit dated, but still a fun open world with that game. I would recommend Just Cause 3. $3 for that is a really good buy. Okay, here is what might be the best deal available right now. Sleeping Dogs, the definitive edition, is 90% off for just $2. I've talked about Sleeping Dogs so many times. Usually, it's around like $3 to $4.50, but right now, 2 bucks. My god, what a great deal on this. Sleeping Dogs is such an awesome game. I believe it released back in 2012. This definitive edition includes all of the additional content, and it does also have some better visuals. This was one of the games that people went to to test PCs back in 2012 because it was such a visually stunning game, and to this day, it still holds up rather well, and the game itself is tremendous. Then say some of the bigger open worlds that you'll experience today, like a Grand Theft Auto V, but it also has some great hand-to-hand -hand combat, a great story, awesome voice acting, and again, great visuals to this day as well. For two bucks, it goes without saying, absolutely buy Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition, sell some Steam training cards, and buy it as soon as possible. All right, so those are all of the deals available on Steam. I also do want to run you guys through a couple of other deals. Over on Game Belay, they've got Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, which just came out 22% off. And it is down to $31.29. Now, that's not like a super cheap price for a game, but given that it just came out and it released at $40, to get it a little bit cheaper, I would say that's quite good. Now, I haven't played Bloodstained at this point. Been slacking a little bit, but everything that people are saying about it is that it's a very good Castlevania-like game, so I can't really speak on it myself. But nonetheless, wanted to give that a mention given that it just came out. And lastly, Games Planet is also running a really solid Sega sale right now with a lot of games discounted. Vanquish is down to $4.75. 
$0.75. Bayonetta, same thing, $4.75. Catherine Classic is down to $13. Kind of a bummer with that one, given that Catherine Full Body Edition is being released in September. Hopefully, we get that version of the game over here on PC. But nonetheless, $13 for that isn't bad. Valkyria Chronicles 4 is on sale over at Games Planet as well. It's a couple cents cheaper at $20 flat instead of $20.39. If you buy it on Steam, you get to utilize Steam Refund. So I mentioned the Steam version. Valkyria Chronicles 1 is on sale as well. That's down to $9.99. That is a part of Xbox's Game Pass on PC. So if you do want to play the game, you can go that route. You can pay a dollar for your first month and then $5 there on after for the beta period. And then it is going to go up to $10. But nonetheless, if you do want to own the game, $10 for that isn't bad. And then Shenmue 1 and 2 is down to $15, which is pretty good. And they've got a couple of other deals available as a part of their Sega promo sale. And that's going to conclude this video, guys. Again, wanted to run you guys through some great deals available right now. Some really good stuff. The deed is available for free, so check that out on Indie Gala. Great deals on Steam that really aren't getting a lot of attention, given that it's not like this is a big sale period for Steam. The summer sale is going to kick off come this Tuesday, but you can already pick up ROTR for 9 bucks, Frostpunk for 15 Yacht Zero for $10, Valkyrie Chronicles 4 for 20 Just Cause 3 for $3, Sleeping Dogs for $2, and a lot of other good stuff is available. I imagine that all of these deals deals are going to run through the Steam Summer Sale, so even if you don't get them right away, I imagine that all of these deals will last until the conclusion of the Steam Summer Sale, which should be sometime in early July, so wanted to mention that as well. And that's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.